Let me show you how I ethically use ChatGPT to do my research acceptable way without plagiarism or shortcuts, but going through every part of research, though, with a short duration and increased efficiency through use of ChatGPT. We are to use ChatGPT at every step of our research. Helping us plan, deliver results very fast, this research would normally take months, but going to take the exact steps, but with reduced time and cost. This video is going to be a series of videos I want you to follow until we have written and published our dissertation. Kindly subscribe and share with friends. This is a video you will want anyone doing research to watch if you wish them the best. Let us get started. Go to ChatGPT and type the following command. For those who have no accounts or don't know how to use ChatGPT, I have a video on it. So type the following in the command box. I'm a student of public health in a low-resource country in Africa. I'm coming up with a research topic. I want to do impactful research, something that will benefit my community or country, but also within my financial means. I want a topic I can finish in time with data easy to find, but still can create an impact. Using all your possible knowledge sources, like searching the internet, your inbuilt database, and any possible sources you can lay your hands on, create five top most topics for me that I can do research on, something with literature review easy to find and possibly citations, but also far from plagiarism. Far from plagiarism should be prioritized here, please. Then hit enter. ChatGPT is now generating results of our prompt. It has suggested five topics we can develop research on. The prompt can be modified depending on your location and field of study. You can also contact me and I help you on this. Now we have all these topics, we are going to choose one that we shall use. I think this one is better about vaccination. Now write the following command in the prompt box. I'm choosing option 3 of vaccination. Now create a table, just a simple table with columns showing the time frame and activities in the other column. I want to separate activities for my research that is to be done in three months. I want everything to be done in three months from preparation, proposal writing, and up to presentation. It is a timeline table. Then when done, hit enter. ChatGPT is now generating a time frame for our research. Something you need to know, when using ChatGPT, it is important to break down our topics into smaller chunks. The small you go, the better the results. So here we are going to first come up with a general timeline, and after that, we shall use ChatGPT to break this down into daily timelines for the whole three months. Now ChatGPT has generated for us the timeline that we are going to follow. Now, let us further break down our timeline into individual weekly timelines. Enter the following command in ChatGPT and hit enter. This is good for now. Let us further break down week one, two. Create a daily time frame and activities table I want to be organized. Make sure every day is catered for, save for weekends. With this command, ChatGPT is going to give us a daily breakdown of what we shall be doing to meet our timeline. We are going to save these in Excel document, and we shall use it to track our research progress. Now we have a daily breakdown of activities. As you can see, every day is catered for and detailed. We are going to follow everything ChatGPT has given us to the dot. As you can see, we are using ChatGPT not to cheat our research, but to make it easy to do and enjoyable. These timelines can further be broken down, but that will come in the next videos. You see that on day one, we shall be identifying key themes for literature review, then day two through day five. Everything is well broken down. Go to the next prompt box and tell ChatGPT, do the same for week three. As you can see, week three problem on the timeline has also been further broken down into smaller chunks. Later in the coming videos, I will show you how to use ChatGPT to make sense of these smaller chunks it is giving us. Every time a timeline is generated, proceed and tell ChatGPT to do the same for the next timeline on the main time frame. Do this until all the activities have been handled and then you go to the next step as I'm going to show you. Now we have every week broken down into days. You can later modify your timeline the way you want to include things like proposal presentation, etc. As you can see, just below every table, ChatGPT has added what you're expected to accomplish by the end of the timeline for that particular week. This is awesome, and means our research process is going to be smooth. Since we have everything taken care of in the timeline, we can now move to the next step. We are going to fine-tune our research topic, which we had not yet worked on. These things will be copied in Microsoft Excel and help us in coming up with a detailed timesheet for our research 
and I will show you how you can process it to track your progress. Now type the following command in ChatGPT. Now I want to start on the time frame week one. Two activities, but first of all, you're going to generate a research title on the topic we chose, which is Vaccination Coverage and Barriers in Remote Communities. Make sure the topic follows the principles of SMART and make sure I can afford it since I'm a student. Now we are having our well-written research title generated. It is assessing vaccination rates and identifying key barriers to immunization in rural into brackets, your country or communities, a three-month study. You can fill in your country, but I will be using my specific country of stay. You see that this title, if good, and has followed the principles in SMART to come up with the title. Now we have a clear flow of our research and how we are going to conduct it, every bit of it taken care of. We are going to copy these timelines into Microsoft Excel, and we come up with a research tracking timesheet. Now we are going to copy these in Excel to come up with our research timeline sheet for tracking our research progress. Copy the first general timeline table and open Excel. When Excel opens, you can proceed to paste it. It is important that you paste it as a text such that all the formatting from ChatGPT is skipped. Now we have added our timeline. Proceed and do this for all sub-timelines, copying the header from the main timeline above and then the activities from ChatGPT as IA have done. Proceed to finish everything. Once you have nothing left, now you can proceed to organize this in Excel. We are going to add checkboxes on the sides of our activities. Remember, we are making a research timesheet, so having checkboxes on the sides will mean that we can always check what is complete and what is pending. To do this, you have to turn on developer mode in Excel. Don't worry, no programming is going to happen and this is easy to do. Go to the top ribbon and left-click on it to bring options. Open the option Customize ribbon. Proceed and look for Developer. Now turn this on and after, go back to the ribbon. You will see that now we have an option of Developer. Click the Developer option and then go to Insert. Under Form Controls, choose Checkbox. Paste the checkbox in your tracking column and then edit it to change the name to Status. Then you're going to copy and paste these in all the sections up to the end. As you can see, we now have our checkboxes that you can click at the end of every activity and then proceed to the next. Isn't this awesome? Copy the research topic and place it at the top as the title of this timesheet. We are also going to add explanations and targeted achievements for every section in our timesheet. Go back to ChatGPT, start copying the text below your timeline tables, and then paste in your Excel. To create a beautiful timesheet, marge cells and then paste these. You can even give these boxes a fill color such that they look beautiful. As you can see, this is my final timesheet for my research project. I have used ChatGPT to generate it, and it does not seem like cheating but using AI to better our research process. This has taken me an hour, but in normal cases, without using AI, this would take days just to develop a timesheet. We now have more time to focus on our loved ones, yet we still manage to do research in a way that helps humanity and free from plagiarism. In the next video, we are going to officially start our research. I will be publishing a video after every week's activity that we conclude. Kindly like and subscribe. Also, follow and see up to the time I submit my research project.